Hello and welcome to another Project Cars video from me, Para the Yorkshire Idiot. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you one of the best races I have had in this game. I absolutely love this. Um, this is actually Formula B, it's not Formula A which is the equivalent of Formula 1. Purely because the Formula A seems to, my steering wheel shakes itself to pieces on the straight. I'm not quite sure what's going on. But the Formula B cars, absolutely brilliant. You're going to see in this race me move up the pack quite a lot and then disaster. Um, it's going to be from the POV. I'm not going to talk too much throughout this video. And um, yeah, a couple of disasters. It all goes kind of peak tong. Uh, but absolutely brilliant. I really, really enjoyed this using the steering wheel and a butt kicker. Honestly, I can't. I honestly can't explain how, how much I enjoyed this race. But anyway, in the meantime, this is me in Formula B at Road America with 21, I think, or is it 20 competitors? Brilliant. Let's take some people off the line into the first corner. Remember, the first lap is our best chance to make up some places. Green, green, green. Go, go, go. I just wanted to say at this point, you may notice up at the top left, I've, or the top, I've actually put on the tele telemetry. Tele 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 Can't even say it, you know what I mean. Telemetry. There we go. <laughs> Got it in the end. Fucking Yorkshire idiot. Uh, because I've been having problems with braking, and as you can see, the green is obviously accelerator. Red is the amount of brake I'm putting on. And I'm trying to work out where the braking point is for this vehicle, because I tend to either lock the brakes up, or I slam into the other vehicles. As you can see at the top, I'm trying not to get bit of carnage here. I'm trying not to get 100% brakes on um, and try and graduate that. A few people on Reddit have suggested um, just trying uh, putting a, a little bit more on later and then feathering it off that way rather than the opposite way. So I'm going to try and do that throughout this race and see if it actually helps me in any way whatsoever. While I am actually bombing down here at nearly, nearly 200 miles an hour, I think, was it 170, 180 at some points on this track? Um, I've owned all the Formula One games from Codemasters, and this wipes the floor with it. I'm sorry, but it does. Codemasters, when they bring out their next Formula One game, they're going to have a lot of work to do to um, audio, graphics, handling, physics, everything. I mean, really, this could end. <laughs> It could end Codemasters Formula One games because if there's any DLC to make the you know just a full Formula One season using this engine with these graphics, it's game over. Honestly, um, I don't really know what else to say on that. Uh, as I said, I've owned them all. But this is way more enjoyable. Desperately trying to get past that vehicle in front as we go down that long straight. Actually ended up uh, a little bit... If your left wheel clips the grass, um, it's not too bad as long as you don't accelerate at all. Any slightest little bit of acceleration. Um, and it will actually spin you. So, when it comes to actually online and multiplayer, I've, I'm, I honestly really, really hope that there are servers out there or games out there where there are clean drivers where it's not a matter of just ramming the other cars off which will just kill it for me personally. I'd rather 
I would rather go from the front to the back of the pack and have a decent race with the racers at the back than ram people off just to get a few places and a few you know bum licky credits uh, on the top leaderboard honestly it's all about the racing and the enjoyment of competing with each other for me yeah everybody wants to win sure but uh, ramming each other off to me it just it makes me want to rage quit and I, I can't play with people like that so I really do hope the community um, plays fair on the PC otherwise uh, might have to set our own clan up or our own uh, race team and start racing with some decent people on TeamSpeak um, at this point I love the uh, the sparks or the flame that comes out of the back of these uh, it's, you can actually feel it in the um, butt kicker as I mentioned I'm using a butt kicker absolutely love it, it vibrates your chair you can feel all the uh, bumps and turns and curbs and things like that not only through the steering wheel but through your ass whore. I don't know if you're, a, if you're a pumper you might probably enjoy it you could probably put a dildo on your chair at the same time anyway that's going on another tangent at this point starting to get a bit more of a feel for this vehicle I've realized that if um, I mean we've said it before slow in fast out but I've started to realize that if you do go that little bit slower in you can push it a little bit more I'm always worried about coming around corners and putting my foot down too fast a bit naughty there on the grass again uh, thinking that it's going to spin out um, or I'm going to run off the track but uh, obviously with it being a, a formula basically a formula one car you can push it a little bit harder now I've noticed this look at that beautiful this corner here the AI do tend to slow down a little bit more than I would have expected and yet faster in other corners you can see this corner here definitely starting to pick up some speed here realizing that you can get your foot down there and let the speed wind up hard break it early as somebody suggested on reddit here um, and this one it's just a matter of feathering the accelerator not too much as you'll see up at the top I'm not even got any accelerator on there as I come around some of this now I'm starting to wind it up and I'm going to try and hit the apex on the right here keeping my foot 100% down which is something I wasn't doing on the first couple of laps uh, same with this one I could have gone full speed around here but I didn't want to hit into this guy uh, so I'm going to try and slip stream him see if I can overtake him on this straight bombing down here at nearly 170 miles an hour before we have to put on the brakes way early uh, and that's a thing that I think in multiplayer is going to happen people are just going to smack straight into your ass and use you as bumper cars and that will mean me personally rage quitting but uh, yeah so far from position four here and as you're about to see it's all gonna go Pete Tong on this last lap I can't fucking believe it Now before it all goes peak tongue, I just want to thank a few of the guys and subscribers uh, from Reddit and on YouTube who helped you out with the braking. Definitely a few different things for me to try and think about and putting this telemetry on, see I said it first time that time, putting the telemetry on up at the top really does help me with the braking and working out where I've gone wrong. Although, as you can see on screen, I don't really need to tell you. Anyway, thanks for watching, I really do appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe and like if you like this, or if there's any particular track or vehicle you want me to have a look at. But in the meantime, this has been me on Project Cars on Max Settings at Road America in the Formula B Cars, and uh, the more I play this game, the more I love it, and the more I want to play it. So that tells you how good the goddamn game is. All we need to do now is release it to the public, and we shall be having some multiplayer, brilliant multiplayer races with no crashes. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe and thumbs up. Do appreciate it. I'm trying to get to that magic thousand subscribers. Uh, even though you've got a thousand subscribers, I only get about 200 views. So 800 of you. Don't give a toss anymore. Don't love me. That's where it goes. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.